that. Um, I think I need a in the spaces between the slider and the features. So yeah, so it's just like that. We can use uh, CSS, but I think this is not the function of this uh, video. So I can omit that that part with margin, yes, and over padding. But it isn't necessary right now. So and what else we can do? Um, yeah, add images like this with materialize. Yeah, we can do it. So um, okay. So. I need to add more spaces here. I'm trying to do this video short. <laughs> um, okay, so we are ready for the next section. And so it could be okay, I'm going to use a container again. And inside of this, I need two columns, one for the image and the second one for the text and the button. So I can use six and six, okay? Because um, we can use two columns inside a container. So, okay, six columns, we need six columns. And So column one and column two, column one and column two. So okay, here we have the the spaces. So um, the containers, I mean, and um, um, I need that image. I need an image and I'm going to keep looking for it. An image. Yes, just like that. So, um, um, okay. Um, okay. Could be this one. Okay, and yeah. use it here. Yeah. And we need to 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 use to to make this image. And we need to turn this image in 100% because otherwise it could be a disaster. <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> so we have CSS for that. I'm going to use CSS <clears throat> and I'm going to put here just the, the width as 100%. Uh, even we can use CSS here for, um, for example, this is the best way I think we can turn all our images to 100%. Okay, and that's it. And we don't need we don't need to use or to type something in our code, HTML code in it. So, oh, something is wrong. Um, okay, one hundred percent. Okay, that's it. So, and I need the I need this text here centered. So, 
in order to do that we got to to use helpers the helpers and this using this class be aligned wrapper and um, just, just add the class just um, add in the class um, where is okay here here yes it is here here okay just like that and oh Okay, no, in row, row because this is the child of row. Yes, like that. Yeah, just like that. And we can add here a title. Okay, so, example with H3. Sony, Sony a smart font. No, smart watch. No, watch. Uh, smart watch. Smart watch. So, yeah. Yeah, and then of that, random text. Yeah, like that. And the button, the, the button, where's the button, so here, uh, I can use the second one just for show you how it looks, and that's it, okay, oh, I need a, we need a space, it looks good. We can we can personalize this uh, the button with CSS if we if we want to change the the, the hover the hover action the colors and everything the um, I don't know the the height or but with or our custom our own custom CSS. So, and that's it for this section. And here I'm, I'm going to change the, the text. The button's text. Four by. Set this by. Okay, and we just I need to add the final part, and this is the footer. So, uh, footer is also easy. Yeah, yeah, we have this footer, and the characteristic of to make this footer as a, a stick element or a fixed element. So, in this case, we just need a simple, a simple footer. So, to copy this and put it here before the image section. Yeah. Like this um, and uh, yeah, just like that. And we have our own footer. So we can add here buttons or images or everything. We can combine materialize CSS. CSS. We can do anything. I'm just trying to show you how it works. How yeah, how it works. And and this is so so easy. And yeah, just like that. Um, just that. We gotta change the the footer's color. Yeah, 
just adding the the colors codes classes the color colors color class and yeah that's it so that's it we have a simple website here so but I, I did I did this I don't know how how time it doesn't takes it doesn't take a lot of time to use materialize CSS and we can personalize this for example if I want to change the the, the slider so it's easy so so easy for example, I really like this photograph, yeah, it's amazing. So, for the slider, we have here the slider, we just need to change the images. So here we have the one, the second one is here. So, yeah. yeah. We need four. And okay, like this. And the last one could be. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just it takes change the code. It takes nothing. It really looks good. I really like it. And um, so we miss something. We got to do something else. So we can do this that part fixed. Make it fixed. Um we can do that with um okay we, we go to components and then the not board and just um, yeah fixed navigation uh, fixed not board so we can add this this a class if we want to do this not board fixed Okay, I have here my 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 now board. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to put it here. And let's see. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, here in that. Okay. Oh, something is wrong, I think. So um oh oh no 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 it's before the before before this tag okay just right here we need a grapper okay yes yeah it works it works and it, is and it is really it looks really really good so we can add sh shadows um, for the for the matches or the dips so we have the shadows yeah this is the one two three four five so one two three four five and I want something like this, the second one. I'm going to add the shadow for this image. And where is the image? The image is um okay, right here. So just 
it is just to add a pass. Refresh. Yes, and that's it. So we have to add the the, sh the shadow, and we have also a kind of um, a box for for seeing the, the images. I don't know how we. What's the name of that? But um, I'm gonna to I'm going to media section. Let's see that. No, it is in here. Let's see. I don't remember. So yeah, here in media, but in JavaScript. So add this. Yes, uh, for this uh, effect, effect or this box, so we have to to use this class here in the um, in the image, so the image and this material I material boxed class, and that's it. So fresh and. It and it works so just like that and this is how materialize CSS is so useful it's, yeah definitely it's useful for making this kind of websites so it is really really useful, easy to use and we can use we can make Good websites with a good interface. Uh, I already know people that are using this framework, and so I saw websites with this framework, and they look they look good. So uh, I think that's it for this video. It was it was. So, so large so but I wanted to show you how it works and I hope and that's it so <laughs> that's it for the, that's it for this video and see you in the next one